Welcome back to my channel. I've been asked so many times recently to do a handbag collection video. Now unfortunately, this is not that video and here's the reason why. If you are subscribed to my channel or if you've seen my other videos, you know that I've recently done some unboxings. So instead of doing a whole handbag collection video right now, I'm gonna leave that to a later time. But today I am gonna be showing you four handbags that are in my collection. Unfortunately, these handbags are going to be listed on eBay and I'm going to be reselling them. I will never be that girl that has that closet with the 75 handbags or 50 pairs of shoes just because I don't believe in hoarding and also if it's something that I haven't worn in six months to a year or if it's something I've only worn a few times throughout the year, I will likely resell it because I would rather use that money when I sell that item and use it to purchase new items. Now that doesn't mean that every single year I'm sitting there buying a ton of handbags and usually if you are selling them within a year or two of wearing them, you are going to get a much higher value. So if you wait a really long time to resell your handbags, like three, four, or even five years, the chances of you getting a higher return are really slim. Now the interesting part about these four handbags is that two of them I wore about a million times and two of them I probably worn a handful of times. So two of them I could say were a great choice and two of them were not as good of a choice and I definitely have some regrets of purchasing it but hopefully, like I said, I'm able to sell them all. One of them did just recently sell so unfortunately I don't have that handbag to show you in person. I sold it in the last few weeks. I was hoping to film this video before that handbag sold but hey, I'm not complaining, that bag is gone and this girl is so happy that that handbag is gone. But I'll include a photo and I'll do that one last and I'll tell you guys how much I sold it for, why it was a bad purchase and basically why I decided to resell it. I'm going to start off with my two favorite bags first. I likely wore these bags a couple hundred times each. So I'm going to start off with those two first and then the ones that I wore the least or shall I say the worst purchases I've made I will do a following. So first is the Saint Laurent tassel crossbody bag. Of course it's in gold hardware because as you know I love gold hardware. I wore this bag so much. It was my number one evening bag. It went with everything. I could dress it up, I could dress it down with an evening look with a pair of ripped jeans and a t-shirt. I got so much use out of this bag. Now if you're asking why I'm reselling it is, I wore it a little bit too much. I'm kind of sort of tired of wearing this bag. I think I overdid it a tad bit. Um, as you can see, it's just the perfect handbag and of course this is still being sold in the stores so I have a better chance of selling it right now to get a higher value. This bag was around $1,900 to $2,000. I purchased it from Barney's. In terms of the listing price, I'll be lucky if I get about $1,600 for this handbag just because I've worn it so many times and as I mentioned, there is quite a few scuffs on it. I definitely try to take excellent care of my handbags, but unfortunately in this case, it did get scuffed up a little bit more than my average handbags, but I did get a lot of use out of this bag. It's so cute and petite. Right now I have an iPhone 7 Plus. I'm not really sure if it would still fit in here. From the looks of it, it doesn't look like it's gonna fit in here because I had trouble even fitting my iPhone 6 in this bag. I love the color combo. I think it's so chic and so beautiful. And of course, you cannot go wrong with the tassel. But it's time to list this baby and let it be someone else's pre-loved item. Moving on to my next bag, I actually did a review on this handbag. It was comparing and contrasting both Jibunchi and Tagonas that I have. So if you haven't already, make sure to check out that video where I go into full detail on the sizing, the textured leather, and everything else about this bag. I'm just really gonna tell you why I'm selling this handbag. And I kinda do also mention that in the video. That's basically because I originally purchased this bag a few years ago. I wear this bag almost every single day up until a few months ago, I would say, about six to eight months ago when I purchased the other handbag. Reason being, as I just mentioned with the Saint Laurent bag is that I hate holding bags with my hands. This bag kind of just goes on your forearm and depending on what you put in here, it can get pretty heavy. So it's not that practical for me anymore. I prefer a crossbody. And this is honestly another handbag that I've worn way too many times. I have a really obsessive personality. So if I like something, I'm gonna wear it every single day. I definitely wore this bag every single day and got my money's worth. It was around $2,250 and I'm reselling it for around $1,600 to $1,700. 
I wanted to be able to resell it while it was still in high demand just because as I mentioned earlier, that really is when you get the best value. And sadly, I don't wear this bag as much because I wear the mini a lot more. This is a size small. The nude one that I did a video on is a size mini. If you have any questions about this style or sizing, make sure to check out that video. I will make sure to link it below. So I'm gonna put this down and show you the next handbag. The next one is also a Saint Laurent. You will know right when I show you this handbag why I'm selling it and that's because it is a clutch. And not only is it a clutch, it's a really long clutch. I will tell you something though, it does fit a lot. I've been able to fit my cell phone, credit card IDs. I do have smaller wallets that I've been able to fit in here. And I loved the fact that it was a croc embossed handbag. Of course, it's not real croc, it's just embossed. I just don't like the awkward shape. I feel like it's really long. I will say that this is definitely one of my least favorite purchases I've ever made. I've only worn this three times. It is almost brand new, as you can see. This clutch retailed for around $1,190, so basically around $1,200 without tax. I'll be lucky if I can sell this thing for 700 bucks. So after I pay the 10% eBay fee, I will be glad if I walk away with 50%. It was quite a waste of money to say the least. And it's actually this clutch that is the reason why I do so much more research before I make a purchase. As I'd mentioned in my other videos, if it's not a handbag that I obsess over, I'm gonna go to the store, make sure I want it. I'm gonna leave the store. And when I leave the store, if it's still a handbag that I want and I've done my research, it has a good resale value, then I will pull the trigger. So this bag definitely needs to go, which brings me to my next handbag. Now my final handbag I just sold, and as you can tell, I'm so happy that I sold it. Of course, I'm not happy that I don't have it here to show you in this video, but I still wanted to talk about it just because I wanted to let you know why it was probably the worst purchase I ever made, and also why I'm happy that it's gone. It is the Chanel Boy bag, it was in the size new medium and the color was dark pink. I'm gonna include some videos and also some photos just to kind of show you the handbag so you guys know what I'm talking about. And the number one reason I didn't like this handbag, the color was so bold. I just did not like the color and I did not like the size. I probably wore that bag three or four times and I lost about a thousand dollars when I resold the bag. Now there is a silver lining in this story and that is that when I first wanted to resell this handbag, I went to two different consigners and they both said that they would pay me 24, 2,500 for the bag, even though I paid 42, 4,300 and I barely wore it. That was actually the main reason why I did my research and decided to open up my own eBay account. Now, although I did lose a good amount of money on that handbag still, ultimately I saved so much more money down the line because I had never been reselling my handbags. They were just collecting dust on my shelf. And once I started the eBay account to sell that Chanel boy bag, I started listing all my other items. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really hope that you learned a lot because I definitely learned a lot with some of these purchases. 